Hi guys and welcome back to Coil Life. Today we're going to be having a look at a, an RDA from Watofo. Um, it's this one here. This is the Ryujin Elder Dragon and it is um, designed in collaboration with a uh, reviewer, um, a Ryusi Sakawi. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not too sure. Um, it's designed to look like a pagoda now I've googled pagoda there's plenty of different types and to be honest with you I don't see where they're supposed to be similar it's not the prettiest of RDAs um, it's a bit I suppose a bit like Marmite you're really gonna love the styling of it or you're gonna hate it um, to be honest, style-wise of the top cap, I'm not a fan. Um, that's just me, though. Uh, this, with the way the airflow is and the build deck, I really, really do like the build deck of this. Um, it vapes really well. Flavor of this is spectacular it's really really good um i think watofo from their early days to now they've come so such a far way and um, the quality of the products now that they're bringing out is is just astounding compared to where they started in the beginning and um, i've always been a fan of watofo um, but before I go into any more details about this, let's drop down and have an up close and personal tour around the Elder Dragon. Okay guys, so here we are with the Elder Dragon RDA from Watofo. It is designed by Watofo and this guy here, I'm not going to... Uh, is Raisei Asako? Something like that. If um, that's the wrong pronunciation, I do apologise. Um, on the side there you do have a little bit of warnings going on got a scratch and check authenticity there on that side then what's in the box on the bottom so then in the box we do get the RDA itself and top cap you do also get a 510 drip tip adapter a frosted 810 Trip tip, trip tip with a narrow bore. You've got your user manual there. We have a little coiling tool to measure down the legs of your coils and that one does have a little arrow there on the 6mm just to indicate what is recommended for this RDA. We also then get an Allen key and a Phillips head screwdriver. We get a normal 510 pin because I believe it comes pre-installed with the swung pin some spare screws and o-rings we get a set of coils some nichrome coils there and we also get some cotton threads laces type things which is pretty cool it's nice to see what Tovo change from their traditional competition wire packaging to be able to see what's in each individual pack um, now for the start of the show the RDA itself so if I zoom in a little bit at this we can see that this one is the gun metal color and it comes with a nice drip tip there now the drip tip it is an 810 drip tip although it's a narrow bore 810 drip tip so if you get a normal um, 810 drip tip it's not going to look right it's gonna look like a little hat on there it's not not the right size so if you have a narrower bore 810 drip tip you're fine if not you're gonna look a little bit out of place and the top cap design it is a little bit different than what we're used to seeing from Watofo you got two holes there for your airflow on each side um, it's nicely domed on the inside there as well. It's a bit unusual um, design there, but funky looking. But um, it's I don't know. It's it's quite nice. Um, the build deck then 
you do have this postless build deck, your airflow, you've got these four holes, two on either side, pointing down towards your coil, and I like the way it's angled downwards because if you use this in squonking mode, you can squonk away and um, there's a less chance of it leaking unless you tip it over to one side when you do so. Um, it's a it's a large, it's a tall build deck as well. You've got two O-rings to hold down the top caps. You've got Phillips head screws then to clamp down the legs of your coils. On the bottom you do have, this must be the signatures of the designers, um, with Tofu. You've got these two screws either side are for your airflow holes as they're removable. They say it's to aid cleaning, although I don't know if it's necessary. It's, uh, it's something they decided to do. So you've got little cutouts here either side for your coiling rod to seat your coil down there. Uh, but they have given you the four slots um, just in case, I suppose, if you like to wrap your coils either clockwise or anti-clockwise, whichever you prefer, you can use, which is a nice, nice thought. They think of everyone, I suppose. So all we need to do is get a coil in here and get it all ready to vape. Okay, so there we have the coil installed in the Elder Dragon. As you can see, it just fits so nicely in there. That's the uh, the coil that came in the pack. I'll just give that a little bit of a dry burn. Make sure that we have all the hot spots out of it before we put some cotton in there. That should do it. Perfect. Ready for the cotton. I'm going to use one of these little cotton lace things that they supplied as well. See how they got they work. So there we go. We've got it all wicked up. I have it sat on a squonker. Time to give it a little bit of juice. See the juice and you can give it a good old squeeze. Even let the juice flow up over those airflow holes. And because they're angled downwards, uh, there's less of a chance that it's going to leak. Make sure that's well and truly saturated. So we've got plenty of juice on there now. Give it a little test fire, and there we go. Grab our top cap, line up the airflow slots. There we go, we've got our Elder Dragon ready to have a little vape. Okay guys, so that was the up close and personal tour around the Elder Dragon RDA. So, although it is a 22mm um, diameter RDA at the base, it does kind of taper outwards on the top cap a bit wider than that. Um, it makes it, to me, it looks a little odd um, like that. Negative wise, I suppose for some people, the the drip tip on here, so although it is an 810 fitment, your normal standard 810 drip tips are going to look a little bit off, uh, because the size of the actual drip tip is it's sort of narrower, uh, thinner, so to speak, than your, your normal goon style 810 drip tips. Um, but, that being said, I don't think, I personally don't think I have any other negatives on this. Um, I like the drip tip that it comes with, so it, that doesn't really bother me personally because this one is comfortable to use. Building on it is so easy, especially with that little coiling tool to measure your legs. Um, so easy. If you wrap clockwise or anti clockwise your coils, pop them in there no problem at all um, 
the airflow the way that angles downwards so that when if you do use it in squonking mode and you squonk away give it a good squeeze it's not really it doesn't have much chance of a leak uh, they'll all leak if you over squonk but um, there's less likelihood of this one leaking because of that angle downwards airflow and it makes for a nice vape and the flavor flavor of this is really really good and I have to say um, I like the way Watofa have changed out those little bags that they gave uh, with your coils and your cotton etc um, the way previously it just said comp wire so you didn't really know what was in each little bag now they're see through big big plus there um, like I said Watofo they, they keep advancing all the time and their quality is just second to none the machining on this is second to none which leads me on to affordability with all Watofo products they are reasonably priced I think you can pick this one up 25 pound or less um, easily enough would I recommend it yeah uh, aside from the looks which is a purely the eye of the beholder so to speak I'm not a, a fan of the looks but value for money quality of vape definitely definitely would recommend it um, I will of course pop some links in the description below as to where you can get your hands on one um, but from me and the Elder Dragon RDA that's all we've got time for thank you guys as always so much for watching and we'll catch you again soon